Where sugar actually becomes a problem is when we have too much of it. A 12-ounce can of soda has about 9 teaspoons of cane sugar. So you came to my house on a hot day, and uh, the first thing I do is I just give you an empty glass, and I put 9 teaspoons of sugar and say, here you go, here, drink that. Right? You're going to say, no way, man, that's disgusting. But yet, that's what is dissolved in a can of soda. And when they say empty calories, that means that, you know, hey, in that can of soda, there's nothing else. So that kind of sugar is different because it's added sugar than sugar in a fruit. Mango is pretty sweet, a ripe one. I love mango. But a mango also has dietary fiber. It's also got carotenoids. It's got vitamin C. It's got all these other micronutrients. So when you're eating it, you're not eating too much sugar. You're getting it along with all these other things. That's why it's not an empty calorie. And, you know, even for fruits, you don't want to be eating too many fruits. You don't want to be like obsessed with eating mangoes or, no. or pineapples, but I would still encourage you to eat fruit because there's lots of anti-cancer properties in the dietary fiber, but do deprive yourself of that extra added sugar that's going to overwhelm your metabolism. Stay away from cakes and candies and cookies if you can. Stay away from sodas. That I would recommend people to cut down or cut.